as a strong bird on pinions free Walt Whitman as a strong bird on pinions free, joyous, the amplest spaces heavenward cleaving, such be the thought I'd think today of thee, America, such be the recitative I'd bring today for thee. The conceits of the poets of other lands I bring thee not, nor the compliments that have served their turn so long, no rhyme nor the classic snug perfume of foreign court, or indoor library. But an odor I'd bring today is from forests of pine in the north, in Maine or breath of an Illinois prairie, with open airs of Virginia, or Georgia, or Tennessee or from Texas uplands, or Florida's glades, with presentment of Yellowstone scenes, or Yosemite. Ten and murmuring under, pervading all, I'd bring the rustling sea sound, that endlessly sounds from the two great seas of the world. And for thy subtler sense, subtler refrains, O union! Preludes of intellect tallying these and the mind formulas fitted for the real, and sane, and large as these and thee. Thou, mounting higher, diving deeper than we knew thou transcendental union. By thee fact to be justified blended with thought. Thought of man justified blended with God, through thy idea low. The immortal reality. Through thy reality low. The immortal idea. Brain of the new world. What a task is thine. To formulate the modern. Out of the peerless grandeur of the modern, out of thyself comprising science to recast poems, churches, art, recast may be discard them, and them may be their work is done who knows? By vision, hand, conception, on the background of the mighty past, the dead, to limb, with absolute faith, the mighty living present. And yet, thou living, present brain, heir of the dead, the old world brain, thou that lay folded, like an unborn babe, within its folds so long. Thou carefully prepared by it so long. Dash haply thou but unfoldest it only maturest it. It to eventuate in thee the essence of the bygone time contained in thee. Its poems, churches, arts, unwitting to themselves, destined with reference to thee, the fruit of all the old, ripening today in thee. Sail sail thy best, ship of democracy. Of value is thy freight dash tis not the present only, the past is also stored in thee. Thou holdest not the venture of thyself alone not of thy western continent alone. Earth's resume entire floats on thy keel, O ship is steadied by thy spars. With thee time voyages and trust the antecedent nations sink or swim with thee. With all their ancient struggles, martyrs, heroes, epics, wars, thou bearest the other continents. Theirs. There's as much as thine, the destination port triumphant, dash steer, steer with good strong hand and wary eye, O helmsman thou criest great companions, venerable, priestly Asia sails this day with thee, and royal, feudal Europe sails with thee. Beautiful world of new, superb birth, that rises to my eyes, like a limitless golden cloud, filling the western sky. Emblem of general maternity, lifted above all. Sacred shape of the bearer of daughters and sons. Out of thy teeming womb, thy giant babes in ceaseless procession issuing, exceeding from such gestation, taking and giving continual strength in life. World of the real. World of the twain in one. World of the soul born by the world of the real alone led to identity, body, by it alone. Yet in beginning only incalculable masses of composite, precious materials. By history's cycles forwarded by every nation, language, hither send, ready, collected here a freer, vast, electric world, to be constructed here, the true new world the world of orbit science, morals, literatures to come, thou wonder world, yet undefined, unformed neither do I define thee. How can I pierce the impenetrable blank of the future? I feel thy ominous greatness, evil as well as good. I watch thee, advancing. Absorbing the present, transcending the past. I see thy light lighting and thy shadow shadowing, as if the entire globe. But I do not undertake to define thee hardly to comprehend thee. I but thee name thee prophecy yes now. I merely thee ejaculate. Thee in thy future. Thee in thy only permanent life, career thy own unloosened mind thy soaring spirit. Thee as another equally needed sun, America radiant, ablaze, swift moving. Fructifying all. Thee. Risen in thy potent cheerfulness and joy thy endless, great hilarity. Scattering for good the cloud that hung so long that weighed so long upon the mind of man, 
the doubt, suspicion, dread, of gradual, certain decadence of man, thee and thy larger, saner breeds of female, male thee and thy athletes, moral, spiritual, south, north, west, east, to thy immortal breasts, mother of all, thy every daughter, son, endeared alike, forever equal, thee and thy own musicians, singers, artists, unborn yet, but certain, thee and thy moral wealth and civilization, until which thy proudest material wealth and civilization must remain in vain, thee and thy all-supplying, all-enclosing worship thee and no single Bible, Savior, merely, thy Savior's countless, latent within thyself thy Bible's incessant, within thyself, equal to any, divine as any, thee and an education grown of thee and teachers, studies, students, born of thee, thee and thy democratic fates, and mass thy high original festivals, operas, lecturers, preachers, thee and thy ultimata, the preparations only now completed the edifice on sure foundations tied, thee and thy pinnacles, intellect, thought thy topmost rational joys thy love, and godlike aspiration, and thy resplendent coming literati thy full lung darters thy sacerdotal bards cosmic savans, these, these and thee, certain to come, today I prophesy, land tolerating all accepting all not for the good alone all good for thee, land in the realms of God to be a realm unto thyself, under the rule of God to be a rule unto thyself, lo, where rise three peerless stars, to be thy natal stars, my country and symbol evolution freedom, set in the sky of law, land of unprecedented faith God's faith, thy soil, thy very subsoil, all upheaved, the general in earth, so long, so settlessly draped over, now and hence for what it is, boldly laid bare, opened by thee to heaven's light, for benefit or bail, not for success alone, not to fair sail and intermitted always, the storm shall dash thy face the murk of war, and worse than war, shall cover thee all over, word capable of war its tug and trials, be capable of peace, its trials, for the tug and mortal strain of nations come at last in peace not war, in many a smiling musk death shall approach, beguiling thee thou on disease shalt swelter, the livid cancer spread its hideous claws, clinging upon thy breasts, seeking to strike thee deep within, consumption of the worst mortal consumption shall rouge thy face with hectic, but thou shalt face thy fortunes, thy diseases, and surmount them all, whatever they are today, and whatever through time they may be, they each and all shall lift, and pass away, and cease from thee, while thou, time spirals rounding out of thyself, thyself still extricating, fusing, equable, natural, mystical union thou dash, the mortal with immortal blend, shalt soar toward the fulfillment of the future the spirit of the body and the mind, the soul its destinies, the soul, its destinies the real real, purport of all these apparitions of the real, in thee, America, the soul, its destinies, thou globe of globes, thou wonder nebulous, by many a throw of heat and cold convulsed dash, by these thyself solidifying, thou mental, moral orb, thou new, indeed new, spiritual world, the present holds thee not for such vast growth as thine for such unparalleled flight as thine, the future only holds thee, and can hold thee.